Hello my gorgeous Pisces, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-May 2023. Hope you're well. Uh, Pisces, first of all, there's a big festival going on outside. Um, it's that time of year in the centre of Nice. Um, so if you can hear any bongo drums, anyone singing, that is just what's going on outside my window. Um, all right, Pisces. Now, back to your reading. The vision that I got for you guys was of two people having a very casual conversation. I actually saw a woman in hairdressers, okay? Sorry for you guys. Um, I saw a woman in hairdressers and she was chatting as you do, you girls know, to her stylist. And this woman's stylist released a piece of information. And this woman looked up from a magazine she was reading, quite interested, and said, oh, really? I didn't know that. And the stylist very casually said, yes, yes, well, you know, rumours are going round about it, but I, I thought you knew. And this woman said, no, I didn't know that. Anyway, the lady left the hairdressers, went home, and she sat very casually on a sofa having a cup of coffee, thinking about what her stylist had said. And she thought to herself, actually, I may need to change my plans. And she began to mull things over and I could see her scribbling on a piece of paper. She was actually doing calculations. So Pisces, whatever this is, you may hear a piece of information that initially seems not a big deal. OK, well, it's good for me to know that. Thank you for letting me know. I'm not feeling it's negative. I'm not feeling it's positive. It's interesting. Um... And due to that piece of information, after maybe a couple of days of mulling over this, you're going to realise that you are going to want to make some changes based on that piece of information. OK, now, guys, if, for instance, you are talking about someone in particular, someone you may have been interested in, a friend of theirs or rumours may go round to portray the fact that this person is getting a divorce. And this is you thinking, oh, so they're not going to be married anymore. Oh, they're going to be single. OK, so that makes a difference. Maybe there's a relationship in the future um, that we could move into. If for others of you, this is relating to something like um, an area that you live in, for example, it could be that somebody says, oh, yeah, a bit of a nightmare about this massive highway going through this piece of land. And this is you thinking, oh, my goodness, that piece of land backs onto my house. If they're going to be building a huge highway, OK, um, maybe half a mile away, I'm going to hear the noise. It's going to be really disruptive. It's not going to be good. For others of you, it may be the opposite. It may be somebody says, well, you know, just to let you know, properties are really increasing in this area. Yeah, so many people, estate agents are saying, oh, my goodness, you know, in a couple of years time, prices are going to be unaffordable. And maybe this is you renting, happily renting, thinking, well, maybe in five years time I could afford to buy somewhere. This is you thinking, OK. I'm not going to renew my lease. I'm going to see if I can scrape together enough money to try and get on the housing ladder. Whatever this small piece of information is, it's going to be a very big deal. It could shift you in a new direction. OK, that's what I'm getting. All right, Pisces, a long intro, but you get my gist. Let's jump into this and see what comes through. If you guys want a private reading, my website is in the description box below. If you guys want to join the channel, for €9.99 Euros a month, I put out ad-free members-only videos that you cannot see on this channel. So if you're interested, you can click the Join button and the information is there. All right? Okay, Pisces. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot Royale. That flipped out. Oh, interesting. Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti. I've had it for a while, I just haven't used it. Time for a change, guys, right? <laughs> Maybe that's that's the message, Pisces. Time for a change. Time for a change. All right, so Archangel Michael, what do we have for Pisces, please? For mid-May 2023. Mid-May 2023. Wow. Okay. 
somebody is definitely thinking about their long-term happiness and a legal contract. Pisces. I'm hearing home is where the heart is. Oh, and we've got the Ace of Swords. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. All right, beautiful Pisces. So, people, we've got the Ten of Cups, the Justice card, and the Ace of Swords, okay? So, Pisces, this is a wake-up call. Now, for some of you, if you have been thinking, oh, I'd like to eventually move forward into a relationship with that person, I wonder if they're ever going to divorce, yes. Ten of Cups, Justice, somebody's going through divorce, a legal contract and breaking free, cutting out the past. And this is you getting the information that you need, maybe in order to pursue someone. It could be that since we've got a living room area here and a cat, this is such a beautiful card, guys. Look at that. That's just gorgeous, right? Um, with the Justice card and the Ace of Swords, some of you are thinking, okay, uh... I don't have a lot of money, but maybe I can scrape together enough for a deposit to try and get on the housing ladder because if prices are going to go up, by the time I get to the point in two or three years where I feel I want to buy, properties may be out of my price range. This is you thinking, OK, right now, as in today, I need to calculate my savings. I need to rein in my spending. I really need to think seriously about starting to look at what is available and the prices, okay? If this is about someone that you want to be with, you may be deciding to get in touch. It could be simply, hey, how are you? Haven't seen you for a while. What's going on? <laughs> you want to kind of nudge this person. I'm here. What you're not saying is, I heard through the grapevine that you're divorcing. <laughs> you're being a bit strategic, Pisces. So, whatever this is for you, um, take it as it resonates, people. It may be that, once again, this is a message pertaining to those two areas of life, okay? So, I don't want to confuse you guys. It could be a life change. It could be a relationship. Let's see. Sorry, I want you to see the cards. Let's see what comes through. Wow. Seriously. The death card, major change and transformation. A cycle is ending, Pisces. You could be connecting to a Scorpio. The divine is asking you to embrace change. Don't push it away. Don't sit in a place of fear. Don't get all panicky, Pisces. Um, keep your feet on the ground. I want to say do your research and create some kind of plan. The divine wants you to think seriously about the new phase that you're moving into. Now, for some of you, I'm actually seeing 1111 in my head. I see it a lot. I'm also seeing 1010. Many of you may be seeing numerical synchronicities that might signify the ending of a cycle. Okay? Yeah. They want you to embrace change, whatever this is. This is quite a big deal. Six of coins. Now, the six of coins can be you finding out that somebody's going through a divorce. Four of coins. This is very interesting. We've got a merchant here on a ship. It's as if you're wanting your ship to come in but you're thinking to yourself, either someone's been holding back from you, as in, how am I going to get back in because they're not communicating with me? Maybe this is somebody who was in a relationship with somebody else. Or you're thinking, I want to embrace this new cycle, but with the four of coins, this is you feeling that if you know it's going to take some form of financial outlay, this is you getting nervous. Okay, I feel as if I need to change direction but it's going to take money. So you may be doing some intricate calculations. Yeah, you've got some time, Pisces. This is not something that you feel you need to take action on the next few days. I feel this is you pondering this, potentially thinking of making a move in the next six months, not nine months, I'm hearing. 
you're going to be needing that time to formulate a plan. Okay? Yeah. In the past, Ace of Coins. For some of you, you started a relationship, but maybe you felt it wasn't for you. For others of you, you may have considered a move. Sometimes the Ace of Coins is actually a move. So you could have moved from one rental flat to another, or you could have considered purchasing a property, if this is what this is, but you realized that you didn't have enough to do that. So you might have put it on the back burner. Hmm. After that time, you sat in the energy of the High Priestess. Now, if you started a relationship with someone, you realised that they were holding a secret, and this is you detaching from that person, feeling maybe a bit disappointed, and maybe cutting off communication. The High Priestess does not speak. But you may have sat in fantasy land for a while, Pisces, hoping that this person was going to come back, hoping that they would make a change to their situation and maybe become single. For others of you, you fantasized about a shift in direction in your life, moving to a new area, moving into a new property, buying somewhere, whatever this was for you. But you felt as if it was so far ahead in the future that there's no point in you sitting, worrying about this big pending change. No, 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 no. It's not going to be for two or three years yet. No, no, no. Um, I've got lots of time to think about it, plan for it, if and when it happens. Whatever this information is, this is you thinking, oh my goodness, okay, so this is something that I think I'm going to need to really consider putting into progress in the next few months, not three years into the future or five years into the future, six months time. And this is, oh my goodness, okay, hope you're with me. The Hierophant, so you're thinking about community, the concept of religion. This is also relating to properties, companies. The Hierophant is a structure sometimes. It can also be you leaning on your spirituality. Now, for others of you, it may well be that if you're not connecting to a fellow Pisces or a Scorpio, it might well be that you hear some information about a Taurus, which is the Hierophant card. The divine is asking you to sit in a very calm energy, don't act in a rash manner, don't be impulsive, think very carefully about the next phase. Because I feel, Pisces, when you move into this next phase, it may well be for the rest of your life. If this is a relationship, you want to make sure this is the right one for you. You're not messing around. And you also know that if this does work out, it may well go long term. If this is something like a property move or a relocation, um, this is you thinking, once I've done this move, that's it. For the rest of my life, I am not moving again. For those of you who have moved a lot in your life, you know how stressful it is. You know how expensive it is. You lose things, things are broken, there's a lot of chaos, it's exhausting and emotionally taxing. So whatever this is for you, this is you thinking, when I've actually made this decision to move into this new cycle, that is it. I do not want to have to do this again. So this is a really big deal. <laughs> what you're thinking about in the immediate future is the two of wands. We've got gates that are opening here. You're going to have decisions to make, Pisces. Do I stay in the cycle that I've been in for a period of time? Okay. Do I stay single and hope this person who's getting divorced will reach out, for instance? Or if this is to do with a move, do I stay where I am or do I embrace change? This is the time that you're thinking, I either do this or I stop thinking about it. This is you knowing that this is possible. In the immediate future, this is you thinking, well, do I act on this or do I leave this idea behind? Contemplation mode. What you seem to be fearing <laughs> is the three of coins. 
For some of you, you may be fearful that if you're moving forwards with someone in a new connection, there is a third energy that will always be involved. That could be a karmic partner. It could be your person's got kids with someone. Whatever this is, this is you fearing that somehow you're going to need to allow a third energy in your life from now on. This is you contemplating that. Do I want that? If for those of you who are contemplating a move or contemplating purchasing a house or moving out of a rental flat, something to do with that because this can literally be property. We've got pentacle energy here. With the three of coins, what you're fearing is it's going to take a lot of hard work and you're not going to be able to afford a great deal. If you've got four pentacles, this is you fearing that by the time you've taken the first step forward, Okay, maybe put a deposit on something, paid for a big move, removal van, or all that kind of thing. You're going to be left with three pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, if you're considering a change and it's to do with a relocation or a physical move to a property, then this is you a little bit stressed that you don't have the money at the moment to achieve this. But this is you feeling, I should do it sooner rather than later. In the environment, Pisces, is the Nine of Swords. Whoever you are connecting to is actually sitting in a heck of a lot of stress now. If this is you handing in your notice to your landlord, they are really, really worried because maybe you've been a great tenant for the last few years and they're thinking, oh no, I've got to find someone who is going to take over the tenancy. Not your problem, Pisces, but whoever this is affecting, they're going through quite a lot of stress. If this is someone who is ending a relationship, they're actually going through it, Pisces. So this is you being told by the divine, don't rush towards this person talking about getting together, let's have drinks, being super keen, let them come to you. Because they may still be healing, they may be having nightmares about the future. If this is you as a feminine, and this is you learning that a masculine energy is divorcing, for instance, then this is someone who is not looking forward to having to deal with the karmic, not looking forward to losing half of their money to losing half of their hard-earned stability, okay, their foundation. So this is someone who's got enough on their plate and the divine may be saying, just hang on a few months, which is why maybe six months came to mind, but they're going through it. Hmm. All right, now what you're hoping with the energy of judgment is to make the right judgment call. You're hoping to be savvy in terms of the right time to do this, to approach this person, to make this move. It might be that for some of you, this is going to be a very important time where you need to get your ducks in a row, okay? If this is you moving out of a rental flat, wanting to purchase somewhere, do you have lots of furniture? What if the sale doesn't go through? Where would you be? Where would you move to? Do you have a safety net? Are there any unforeseen expenses that you hadn't actually thought about? Have you calculated everything in? What happens if you move out of your rental flat and then the sale falls through at the last minute? That sort of thing. What the divine is asking you to do is to think very carefully about what you would do with each eventuality that may come about. Sometimes life throws a curveball and you have to deal with it. What happens if you develop a relationship with this person in the next few months and they suddenly turn around after six months time and they say to you, you know what, I've decided I never want to marry again. The divorce was a nightmare. And this is you maybe not knowing that. And if you have your heart set on actually getting married, then this might be a shock. Oh, says Pisces, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you never wanted to get married again. Okay, right? If this is you meeting somebody with children 
and maybe you've always wanted kids. This is your person dropping a bombshell. Well, yes, I'm single, but I don't want any more kids. And if this is a second marriage for them, and maybe you've never married, then this is you thinking, oh, okay, wow, well, I really wanted to be a mom. So this person doesn't want any more kids. Okay, so my dreams of having my own child are going to be dashed if I stay with this person. Think about, in the nicest sense, Pisces, without being depressing, without, you know, being a bit negative, think about what could go wrong and formulate some kind of plan or think about how you would react, okay? So that when it comes down to it, if all goes swimmingly, wonderful. If you have a few blocks or obstacles in the path or something happens unexpectedly, this is you thinking to yourself, okay, I knew what I would say or do when that occurred. So I've already accepted that it might happen. All right? Yeah. Now, the final card, Pisces. Wow, is the star. Woo! Aquarian energy. So whatever this is, you're moving into a place of calm. There's a lot of balance. For some of you, you are working very hard. If you are some kind of star, okay, you could be doing very well on social media because this is you maybe needing to improve your finances over the next few months if you can, or if you're thinking about a relocation or you're thinking about a move. This is you thinking, okay, I need a bit of extra cash to do that. If this is you moving towards someone, this is you realizing that the two of you are ideally matched. It will be a very balanced connection. This is gorgeous, Pisces. So, clarification for you. Wow, nine of cups. Pisces, you could get your dreams come true. You could achieve what you want. Emperor, wow. Taking charge of your life, feeling very happy about something. For some of you, if this involves a move, you may be seeking advice from a father figure. It could be that for some of you, if this is your boss, you need to tell your boss you're going for a new position. There might have been rumours going around that your company's going under or they're not making money and there may be people that are let go. All right. So this is you knowing that and trying to find a new job in advance. All right. This is you maybe speaking to your boss about that. It could be that for others of you, this is somebody who is moving towards you wanting to be with you. This could be an emperor coming into your life or you're realising that someone here is moving out of emperor status and maybe becoming single. You could be taking control of your life, Pisces. It's beautiful energy. Now, whoever is in the environment. Ooh, okay, seven of wands. This is someone who is a little bit nervous, a little bit guarded. They could be slightly defensive at this point of time. If this is someone who is going to be affected by an action you're going to take, Pisces, a landlord not happy you're moving out, a boss not happy that you're leaving the company, okay, or someone who's going through stress in a divorce that you want to be with, they're fighting fire at this point of time. They're also, again, sitting in a rather defensive energy. So this is someone who's not easy to talk to, not easy to compromise with. This could be somebody who is in the energy of, I can't deal with any more right now. I can't deal with any more. Eight of Cups. This is someone who's either walking away from a situation, could be somebody who was going through a divorce and you find that out, or this is someone who is being told that you are walking away from a situation you're in, which affects them. So this could be your boss, it could be your landlord, whatever this is. And they may be trying to persuade you to stay. They may be a bit defensive. So your landlord may say to you, oh, well, I'm happy to reduce the rent, Pisces. If this is your boss, they may be saying, oh, well, we were due to give you a pay rise in the next few months. Yeah, just know, Pisces, that they're actually sitting in a lot of fear because they don't want you to go. Because it's going to heavily affect them. But 
it may be that this is you realizing that whatever they are saying to you is not actually going to make a difference. Well, my landlord's going to reduce the rent by $50 a month. Yeah, uh, that's not really going to make a difference. My boss is going to give me a 3% pay rise in six months. Well, it's still not really enough. It's not enough for me to want to stay. Ace of Swords, Pisces, you are deciding to cut free of a cycle and move forward. Okay, yeah. Ten of Cups, the Justice card, and the Ace of Swords. You're somehow making a move to bring balance into your life and you feel you deserve it. This is the right time for you. Goodness me. All right, Pisces, let's jump in. All right, guys. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the death card crossed with the four of pentacles? You're considering a big change. Shifting into a new cycle, Pisces. Seven of coins. So you're looking at your past. You're looking at maybe everything that you put into a situation or a life path. You could be doing some calculations financially. A lot of pentacles energy here. You may be looking at savings. You may be looking at lowering your expenses so you can save more over the next few months. It could be this is you thinking about the past. It could be that this is you finding out that someone is indeed detaching from someone else. Someone that you hoped it would work with before, but it didn't because they weren't single. You're thinking about whatever this is. Mm, wow. Knight of Coins. So you could be talking to a bank manager, a loan specialist. You could be trying to figure out how much deposit you would need to actually do a move. You could be talking to government officials about work permits in a different area. You could be wondering if someone would be open to developing a relationship with you, having figured out or being told, sort of on the quiet, that they're detaching from someone else. So if that is the case, Pisces, you could definitely be in communication with an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, an Aries, a fellow Pisces, or a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, okay? Interesting. All right, Pisces. Nine of Coins. So you're either finding out that someone here is breaking free and they're going to be single or this is you finding out a way of shifting yourself from the four of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. This could be you asking your family for a loan that you can pay back at a later time. It could be this is you talking to your bank manager. How much could you actually lend me to move into a new property? If this is you needing to move to a different area, you're calculating how much it would take to maybe get a removal van to shift all your belongings from one area to another. You're thinking about the Nine of Pentacles. What else is Pisces thinking? The Sun. So Pisces, for some of you, this is actually a big move. OK, the sun is moving expansion. This is growth for others of you. You're moving into a very happy time or you're contemplating how happy you would be if this was successful. For some of you, yes, you could be communicating with a Leo. Let's briefly look at the past, Pisces. What's the ace of coins in the past, Michael? OK, four of cups. So Pisces, you were dreaming about something that in the past would have been a wish come true. But for some reason, you felt it wasn't achievable. It wasn't achievable. Five of Swords. You may have felt that if this is relating to a person, someone was a bit selfish, wanted just a little bit of fun with you, and then you later realise that they were in a relationship with somebody else and they were selfish with the Five of Swords. For others of you, you were dying to get out of a situation, leave an area, change to a new property, whatever this was. 
but you knew that it was going to be difficult and you thought, wow, is this just me trying to escape a situation I'm not enjoying without really looking at whether or not it's a good idea? Yeah. So there was a lot of thinking, Pisces, a lot of thinking. What was the high priestess after that time? So you pull back, you sat in fantasy land a little bit. You either realised that what you wanted was just not achievable in the past. You thought, yeah, you know, it would be wonderful if, but it's not going to happen. Or you realised that someone had been keeping a secret. Hmm. Five of coins. Now, for some of you, you realised something wasn't achievable because you simply didn't have the funds to move forward into a new cycle. So you just sat in fantasy land about it. It would be great if I could say move to New York, but I just can't do it. I just can't afford to do it, right? For others of you, this is you fantasising about somebody leaving another person, but you knew that they would lose a lot of money in doing so. And for many of you, you thought to yourself, they're just simply not going to do it. They're going to face too much financial loss. I can sit and fantasize about it, but I don't think they're actually going to do it. Mm. What's on Pisces mind with the energy of the Hierophant? Strength card. Leo energy. For some of you, you were holding back from somebody because simply they were married. And this is you thinking, yeah, I wonder if the rumours are right or I wonder if this person really is detaching. You're not sure. You're a bit nervous. I'm still going to hold back until I find out for sure. Again, Leo energy with the strength card. For others of you, this is you thinking, if I want to achieve my dream, I'm going to have to hold back from being overindulgent. I need to save, not spend. Mm. Page of Wands. All right. So Pisces, you could be thinking, yes, in the past, this person used to send me sexy messages, but mm, they're still not out of their connection with somebody else. So I am going to hold back. For others of you, this is you having a lot of bright ideas about moving forward into a new situation in the future. But you've been holding back from actually putting those plans into place because you felt you had all the time in the world or you felt you didn't have the finances to actually achieve this. So you held back. All right. Now, I'm not going to ask for timing, guys, because I feel that for some of you, this is literally going to be six months or even a year into the future. OK, this is you thinking about this now. And it could be either a life change, Pisces, or it could be you moving towards someone or someone that you find out is going through a difficult ending with a partner. OK, so because it's either or, I'm not going to ask for timing. Let's just delve into that person's energy. Yeah. Empress in the reverse. Interesting. It's the only card that's in the reverse in this deck. Wow. So they may be dealing with if I can chuck this, if I can pick up this card, chucking it away. Um, Maybe somebody throwing away a partner. I don't know. Empress in the reverse. If this is a relationship, this is somebody who is moving out of dealing with an empress in the reverse. Now, the empress in the reverse energy, as you may know, is maybe potentially a karmic partner who doesn't put in the effort, who doesn't feed the relationship and is possibly financially codependent. This is also somebody incredibly stubborn. So this is someone who is having a nightmare getting out of a relationship, okay? If this is um, a situation which involves you detaching from a cycle, you could be dealing with a mother who doesn't agree with what you're doing. She could be saying, no, 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 Pisces, don't do that. We don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. But they may just be overly controlling of you. And this is you just having to manage maybe a difficult parent. For others of you, the Empress in the reverse is someone who is saying to you, I don't think it's a good idea if you do this. Now, if it's your landlord, they're going to be saying to you, Pisces, is this a really good idea that you move out? I mean, we're happy to reduce the rent a little bit. It's very difficult finding new properties to rent. I mean, they're going to be trying to hang on to you. OK, hmm. What else is on this person's mind? Yeah, four of coins. So if this is someone who is getting out of a situation, 
I don't know why this card always reminds me of Jeff Bridges. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it does. Anyway, um, so Pisces, the Ten of Coins. This is someone who feels as if they're having issues getting out of a relationship because the karmic partner wants to hang on to her Ten of Coins, her stability. If this is something like a boss or a landlord, they've got a lot out of you financially or in terms of the work that you put into a job and they don't want to lose you. You've been a great employee or you've been a fantastic tenant. They're thinking about the finances that they're going to lose if they lose you. Yeah. So be careful, Pisces, because this is somebody who may be trying to change your mind, you know. Hmm. Six of Wands. Now, if this is a relationship, then someone here is going to be successful in getting out of a long-term connection and they want to come in and tell you. They could be going through a legal court case. If this is someone that you're detaching from, this is someone who's wearing a false mask and not letting you know that actually underneath that, they're sat in the Nine of Swords. Your landlord's having a complete fit because they know they're not going to find another tenant like you, or they know they've overcharged you for the last two or three years, okay? So whoever this is, this is someone thinking about the Six of Wands. Now, they could also be seeing you moving forward, moving forward victoriously, and there could be also some jealousy and envy in there somewhere. If this is a parent, it may be that they felt that they have been successful in sort of pushing you on a path that they feel is right for you for the last few years. And this is a parent seeing you breaking free of, in the nicest sense, their clutches and you're going your own way. You're embracing your freedom and they don't like it. They don't like it. They're not in control of you anymore. All right. Hmm. Page of cups. <laughs> All right, so if this is relating to a relationship, Pisces, this is someone who may have a child, or they may say to you, I'm so sorry for what happened before, but I'm now breaking free of a connection. All right, I need a bit of time. I'm going through a nightmare. I'm dealing with a codependent karmic partner who wants to take all my money, okay? If this is a landlord or someone here that doesn't want to let you go, they may be trying to lean on your emotions. Oh, if this, if this is a parent, oh, we're going to really miss you. Oh, well, you don't want to take my advice. Oh, well, we're your parents. You know, we can't believe that you would go against our wishes. I mean, that's simply a little bit of, dare I say it, emotional manipulation. All right. They don't like the fact that you're spreading your wings. If this is something like a landlord or maybe even someone that doesn't want to see you leave a company, they may be apologising for not giving you a pay rise for the last few years, making some kind of excuse. Um, or this is somebody who simply says, yes, I'm sorry that the rent's been so high, we're going to reduce it. Or sorry, we didn't fix some repairs in your flat, we're going to do it next week. They're sort of a, a little bit worried now. <laughs> But Pisces, I think you are very calmly still sat in the Two of Wands. Well, I'm just sitting here thinking about what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. All right. So how is Pisces feeling at this point of time? How is Pisces feeling? <laughs> Six of Wands. Pisces, you're getting a lot of information. You're soaking up information. What is this person's situation? Or you could be simply communicating with them so you figure out what they're going through if they're detaching from someone else. It could be that this is you actually traveling to various areas. You could be checking out new places to live, job agents, estate agents, that sort of thing. You may be figuring out how a process is done maybe how much money it's going to take you to actually do this. I feel as if Pisces, this has been a similar reading for you. What is Pisces thinking about? You're gathering information. <laughs> the tower. Pisces, this is you saying to someone, either you're shocked to hear that their relationship is going under, 
even though quietly you may be thinking, oh, that's fantastic news, but you're not going to say that. Oh, I'm so sorry your marriage didn't work out. Um, what you're not going to say is, are you available for a drink next week? <laughs> Pisces. You're going to hold back. For others of you, the tower is you understanding that this person, because remember, they're sat in the nine of swords, not you. This is you understanding that whatever you're saying to them is a shock. Your landlord having a bit of an epi because you're leaving next month, right? You're giving them a month's notice. Or your boss getting a bit stressed out because you've got a holiday to take. And basically you're saying, well, I've got a holiday to take. So I'm just going to be in the office for two weeks and then I won't see you again. You know, send my paycheck on to me. This is someone who doesn't expect you to say or do what you're planning on doing. What is Pisces thinking about? Yeah. What you feel you're doing, Pisces, is actually bringing balance into your life. That's what you're planning on doing. With the Six of Pentacles, you're confirming this person is going through a divorce. With the Six of Pentacles, you could be saying to someone, look, I know that this isn't ideal for you, but I'm actually taking a calculated risk because I've got the money to do it. And I think it's going to bring balance into my life. Yeah. What is Pisces saying to this person? Wheel of Fortune. Now, for some of you, you're saying to whoever this is, I feel as if this is a destined new path. Maybe you're talking to this person and they're saying to you, Pisces, yes, actually my relationship went under. And this is you quietly thinking, I kind of knew this would happen eventually. I've just got to bide my time. For some of you, you're saying to this person, Eight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Tower, uh, it's going to be a shock to you, but I'm moving on. I believe this is going to be a destined, maybe for some of you, lucrative change in the right direction. But I get the feeling that somebody here is feeling a little bit stressed about that. What is the energy between these two people? Hmm. Knight of Swords. There's going to be communication going backwards and forwards. Now, this is either this person not very happy with the change that you're making and they may be trying to prevent you somehow. I think, Pisces, you're going to be equally demonstrative relating to the fact that you feel this is right for you. You're going to be standing your ground. You're going to be equally communicative to them. Well, I know what you feel about this, but this is how I feel, you know? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of information going backwards and forwards. For both of you to understand what is actually going on here. Now, Pisces, the final card is the star. Now, the star is you reaching a place of balance and contentment. I think this is you either making up your mind or understanding that you are going to be moving into a new cycle whether it's a life path, a job, a move, or into a relationship. And this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. But the star is you remaining balanced and in a sort of holding pattern because this is you thinking, okay, it's not time to push the button yet. This can't actually happen quite yet. You may need to wait a few months. But this is you in a very calm, relaxed state of mind, either knowing, okay, that maybe if this is a relationship, your person is interested in building a life with you. If this is someone that you're detaching from, the hard work is done. They know what you're planning on doing. They're fully aware of this and they know you're not going to change your mind. So this is you not having to have that really awkward conversation all over again. You've made up your mind. You're sticking with it because you believe it's going to bring balance to your life and a sense of a wish come true. So what have we got for Pisces, Michael? The Hermit. You may be communicating Pisces with a Virgo who wants to be with you, or you're realising that you could develop a relationship with a Virgo, or you're simply sitting in the star energy and the Hermit energy as a whole, pulling back and doing a lot of thinking about your future. Two of coins. 
This is you sort of waiting to move into that new cycle. You could be very, very busy, juggling lots of projects, juggling money around, making sure that you're making the right move, you're doing the right thing for you. For others of you, this is you not sure when this person who may be getting out of a relationship feels ready to start developing a connection with you. They may be going through a tough time. So this is you just holding back. Ten of Wands. Now, <laughs> it's interesting. We've actually got somebody here with a property in the background. For some of you, you're thinking, oh my goodness, it's going to take a lot of money and it's going to be a lot of effort. Okay, if this is you physically moving, oh my goodness, it's stressful, right? Moving house, uh, moving to a new location. For some of you, this is you realising that you have to pull back and just give your person time because they're dealing with a lot. And this is you feeling as if they're so not ready to even think about a relationship with you because they're trying to tie up loose ends of another connection. So they need time. But by this point, Pisces, you two may have had a conversation which puts your mind at rest that this could work out between the two of you in the future. They just need some time because they're dealing with a lot right now. Hmm. The magician. So this is someone who has all the tools that they need. This is you understanding that you can manifest what you are hoping to manifest. A relationship, a move, a new job, a relocation, a new property, whatever this is for you. But you need to look at the details. You need to think very carefully and give yourself some kind of safety net in case it all goes wrong, in case a curveball flies in your direction. And this is you knowing that it's not quite the right time to do this yet. So for the month of May, you aren't going to be physically making this change, but you're going to be putting a plan in place that you may instigate in the next six months. Beautiful. Knight of Cups. This is somebody coming in to help you, Pisces. Or this is someone who is telling you that they love you. Ace of Wands. Wow. Pisces, this is you beginning to get fired up and excited about this. All right. If at the weekends you'd be sitting in a horrible rental flat thinking, God, I hate these walls, they're all chipped and stained and I can't paint them because I'm a tenant. This is you thinking, oh, well, to hell with it. I don't care anymore because in six months or a year's time, I'm going to be out of this place into my new place. And I can do what I want with my new place because I'm going to own it, right? For those of you who are interested in developing this relationship with this person, you know they love you. You know that there's a lot of passion and you are giving them time to sort out the loose ends, tie up loose ends, so that there's no pressure on this person to move forward with you quite yet. And they're going to really appreciate that because this is someone who is potentially going through a great deal. All right. The Fool. This is you getting super excited, Pisces, about jumping forward onto a new path. There's a lot of planning. You, If you're thinking of buying somewhere, you may be going on the internet, looking at properties. You could be flicking through interior design magazines. You're just excited about this. For some of you, this is you feeling it's a bit risky moving forward into a new cycle with this person, but you somehow know it's right. You're ready to take that leap of faith and a risk. And you're getting quite excited about this. All right, anything else for Pisces? Wow, wow. You got a super sexy king of wands. Now you could be simply moving forward with a fire sign. This is somebody who is taking the right action in order to detach themselves from a situation that hasn't been working. Now, if this is you getting excited about a life change, this could be you seeking advice from a king of wands 
who could be an entrepreneur. If you're leaving a job and starting a business, this could be an estate agent. This could be somebody giving you really good advice if you are going for a new job. It could be someone who is deciding to help you move. Actually, Pisces, I think that I've got the contacts that you may need for you to manage this transition smoothly. It's OK. I'm going to help you with this. It's beautiful. Mm. Wow. And we've got the king of coins. What is going on, Pisces? King of coins, king of wands. Now, this could simply be an earth sign or a fire sign who you're developing a relationship with. It could be that for some of you, this is you seeking advice from a couple of people who are going to help you in the next transition. Mm. All right. <laughs> we've, got, we've got the Knight of Cups. Pisces, seriously. Knight of Cups, King of Coins, King of Wands. Either Pisces... You are moving forward with somebody who is literally completely in love with you, even though they're going through a tough time detaching from someone else. Or you are surrounded by people who are helping you in this next transition. This is gorgeous. Do we have any final cards for Pisces, Michael? The chariot. Okay, now you could be being pursued by a Cancerian. If not, we've got an earth sign, potentially, or a fire sign. But this is also moving. This could be you moving to a different area. It could be you moving out of a property into another property. This is you putting a plan in place to actually progress. Yeah. All right. <laughs> wow. Seven of Cups. And the world opens up in front of you. Now, it could literally be you moving into a property it could be you looking at various options. What do I want to do? Where do I want to move to? Looking at various jobs. It could be this is you thinking whether or not you have the courage to actually move to live with someone in a different area. So if this is somebody who's ending a relationship. What they're saying to you is, I'm going to be breaking free and becoming single, but you live thousands of miles away. So how would you feel if you contemplated moving to my area? That could be something that you're considering. Considering moving, right? Pisces, wow. Under the deck, three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in. So this could literally be a move. It could be you hoping to be very successful in whatever the situation this is. But Pisces, I'm going to leave the reading there, okay? Because this could be love, it could be career, it could be so many things. But I hope that it's helped you. Take care of you. As always, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, guys.